conservation is the most challenging, conflicted, and creative, but also inspiring endeavor. When I decided to leave the academic world to start a nonprofit organization, the goal was to make a difference in a really tangible way, however we could, and to inspire different ways of thinking about the problem. We've seen the loss of more habitat, more ecosystems, more biodiversity in our lifetimes than previous generations have ever seen. When you have highly endangered animals that are threatened with extinction in the wild, the choice is let them go extinct or breed them in captivity, and you might have the hope of reintroducing them in the future. If you even stave off the extinction of a species just for your lifetime, that's an amazing achievement because that species had a chance to continue. So probably one of the most exciting parts of our international programs was when we packaged up 18 bongo in Florida and flew them from Jacksonville to Nairobi and set them out on a 100-acre um, managed plantation. Those animals stepped out of the crates for the first time onto African soil. What about their resistance to disease? What about their ability to cope with this environment? Despite all the stumbles and the problems that one goes through, we showed it could be done. And if I were to fast forward and say, what's my dream now? My dream is that we have everybody focused on these environmental issues. People think, well, it's beyond my grasp. I'm one person, what can I do? It's hopeless. I should enjoy my time before it's gone. The reality is, that it's not too late and that enormous strides are being made and they're being made by individuals. We have the capacity for everyone to make a difference and the power of one is, is, is immeasurable.